Hi everyone, it's Maggie and I am back with another uh, doily mini to sh show you and share with you and I'm calling this one Sugar and Spice. I used little um, girl images and this is the cover and you can see all the layers of um, dangles and trims on all the pages that I wanted it to be really full and let me see I used a ring binder and I really don't like using them but it was uh, this one was a little bit on the thick side so I thought I'd better use one and then try to you know hide as much of it as I can so I used some seam binding and some um, sari strips to try to cover up as much as I could of the of the ring and then I added this dangle these heart dangles and then let's see let me start there's the image I'm just gonna basically kinda show you the highlights because uh, otherwise there's just too many details to try to go through in one you know video but um and you know how I put together my um, minis by now. But anyways, the sugar and spice I had written on a piece of um, fabric transfer. And then I added the 2 millimeter rhinestone um, cup chain. And a couple of little purple um, rhinestones there on these little flowers I had added. Um, fabric flowers. I went around the... Um, image with this trim here and then I just added this to the side there's this piece here which I embellished with you know different um, types of flowers and a rhinestone piece I added a little piece of um, rosette then on top of it there's this rose flower applique trim and there's some um, acrylic and rhinestone flowers on that and then over here this is a uh, porcelain and ribbon flower a butterfly a metal flower with a flat back pearl and that's and then you see all the um, the layers and this applique piece here I added some more flowers and rhinestones so that's that's the um, the front page and then those are the trims between that and the first page and the first page is a flower page <clears throat> and I made this flower with some organza and a pearl and rhinestone flower center I used a rosette here with a large pearl. Here's two more of those porcelain and ribbon flowers. There's this beautiful um, beaded applique here. And then there's some more layers of um, dangles. And then I added some little flowers. I forgot to add them to the back, but I will do that. Because I usually I add them to the front and the back so that because they curl, I want you to be able to see the little clay flowers. So that I have to do <laughs> and then here's the next page with an image and this one it has this applique here and let me just get that piece of, it's from the um, sorry um, this applique piece here and then I uh, added this acrylic and rhinestone trim on top of that and then I went around the image with this trim here and I added little two millimeter multicolor rhinestones um, in the middle of the flowers and one of them fell off so I have to do that again <laughs> and then this is one of those daisy appliques I cut in half and added the clay flower and then on this applique piece here I added more of the two millimeter um, colored uh, rhinestones and then you can see here there's some th 
three or four dangle pieces. And then the next page is a pocket page. Here's the pocket page. And you can see this is the pocket. And I love this trim here. And there's an, another applique piece here with a clay flower in the middle. I added some tiny clay flowers. This here was another um, piece that I uh, avocado dyed. And then you see there's a few layers. And then on the bottom of this one, I added the little clay flowers because you could you can still see them. And then here's the next image. And I added this trim to go around. Here's another um, like applique piece, probably off of a curtain or something. And I left it like this because I liked how it just kind of curled around. And then there's some more dangles with clay flowers. This is another type of applique here with the clay roses. And then this piece here, I added the pearl and rhinestone. So that's that page. And then the next page, it's a, whoops, sorry, piece of the, whoop, every time I touch the camera it just goes crazy, but my head hit it. <laughs> Okay, on this page, this is a flower page, and I uh, this flower is from Irina, the Passion for Craft. I love this flower, and um, I just thought it went beautifully with this album. And so I added this on top of another doily, and then there's another doily, and then I added this trim underneath it. I added this pin. This is a vintage butterfly and rhinestone pin and then there's more dangles down here to this top piece here I added some clay flowers and then you can see the layers there and then here's the last image I used this fringe trim around her it, I thought it went with the flower she's holding this is a, um, a pearl applique bridal piece here there's more dangles. I put some um, acrylic flowers, flat back pearl on this piece. This piece is a different one. And then there's just more layers there. And then on the very bottom I added these acrylic flowers to, to the bottom of this piece. And then this is the back piece. Let me bring it over. I kept it very simple. I only added an extra doily around here and then I added this applique piece here from a curtain and the rhinestone and flat back pearl in the middle and you can see the dangles from I put this dangle piece underneath this uh, doily so that finishes it off so that's it that's my sugar and spice doily mini you can see it's pretty full pretty chunky but that's how I like it so that's it let me know what you think leave a comment if you'd like and um, I'll see you again soon bye for now